Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mrs Jodie Van Plew and I'm the Head of Primary here at our wonderful college. I would like to start by thanking you all for your patience and perseverance at this strange, unusual and challenging time. It is going to be different and it is going to be something that we haven't done before, that none of us have ever thought we would have to do before. We are into our first day of our new way of learning, only half a day. There have been obstacles, there have been challenges, there have been huge learning curves, but together we will get through this. Be kind to yourselves and accept that what you're doing at home won't be the same as what we would do here normally at school, the way we've done it in Term 1. Things are different for all of us, for you and for us and for our children. What do we ask of you? We want you to encourage your children at this time. We want you to encourage them to try their best with the work that they've been sent home, to try all that they can and to do the best that they can. If there's a part that they're particularly struggling with, please let the homeroom teacher know. Be kind to you, be kind to them. We're going to get through this together. It will get easier for you, for us and for our children. Whilst things may be a little bit confusing at the moment, one thing we want to reassure you of is that we're delivering a quality curriculum to your children, the same curriculum that we would have been doing during Term 2. We do not want this to be a lost year. It has to be a year that counts for your children. It isn't going to be a walk in the park. Whether you're supervising your child at home or they're being supervised here at school, there will be challenges. There will be changes, there'll be differences, There'll be things that come up that we haven't yet thought of, but together again, we'll work our way through it. What we will do is do the best that we can with what we've got, and we will see your children, our children, grow and learn. I would also like to give you my heartfelt thanks for the wonderful messages of encouragement that my team and I have received from you over the last few weeks. It might seem like little things to you, but to us it does mean a lot and we deeply appreciate every bit of time you take to send those to us at this time. I have to acknowledge the amount of work that the primary team have put in. They're an amazing team to work with. They've put in 100% continually since we knew things were going to change. They've given up many hours during their school breaks to try and ensure that this new phase of learning, that this new term starts in a different way. With Mrs Christy Barber, our Head of Teaching and Learning, we're hoping that the changes are gradual so that it's easy for you, easy for your children, easy for the staff to be able to successfully manoeuvre through things and progress over time. We're all missing the way we usually do things. We're missing the faces of the children. We're missing smiling with them every day. We're missing our face-to-face -face conversations with you. But in the back of our mind, we're remembering and thinking that one day when we're able to do those things again, those times will be even more precious and special to all of us. As we continue in this phase, I would like to encourage you to communicate with your homeroom teachers, contact them via email about any query or question that you have. Never feel that anything you're asking them is silly or irrelevant. Nothing at the moment is silly or irrelevant because we're working our way through something that we never knew we would have to work our way through. So please never feel afraid to contact someone and ask something if you need to know. We want to support you as much as we can because you're important to us, your children are important to us, and we're here for you. Stay home, but please stay connected to us. God bless you all and thank you.